Hey everyone, it's your Soul Android here and I welcome you to this episode. Today I'd like to show you spawns which I think could be taken into a consideration for mages around level 150. Some of them are more efficient than others, but remember, being efficient is really nice, but I value variety over efficiency. Sometimes it's better to visit different spawns even though they might not yield as much XP as others. Trust me, that way you won't get bored and I think this is the most important thing. Let's go! On my channel you can also find videos featuring spawns for mages around level 100 and 150, so check them out. Those spawns are also good even on higher levels. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel for more content. But ok, let's start, cause I think there's too much talking here. Number 1. Winter and Summer Court Elves For purpose of this video I've chosen Winter Court, but there's a Summer Court looking almost the same. This one is located in Tersund, on the Ice Island, and the Summer Court is accessed through Fairyst. The biggest differences between those two are the elements, Winter Court and everything inside deal ice damage and monsters are weak to fire damage. On the other hand, in the Summer Court it's opposite. To get access you need to have finished Ice Island mission giving you access to Tersung and started the Threatened Dream quest. As you may see on the clip, I'm using a magic shield. That's because on that level fighting more than two monsters is just a suicide. When coming here, gear up with a full ice protection items, like Glacier said. Don't expect to profit here, especially hunting with this playstyle. But have a look at my XP per hour. It was recorded on double XP weekend, but still on regular 150% it would be over 2kk per hour. Hunting on floor 0 was enough on my level. If you find yourself in a danger, you can always use fire bombs or firewalls to help yourself. Compared to some other places where you waste a lot, like Oromant West, it's a great alternative. Elves drop a lot of items, valuable items, so after all, it covers up some of that. I was mainly hunting inside, trying to get as much monsters with me and just throwing great firewalls. Druids, use your air fury and sorcerers, the fire ones. Number 2. Let's move to Zell and Lizard City. I've been waiting for quite a while before I could hunt here. It reminds me of some old times. To get access here, you need to have finished Children of the Revolution quest and Wrath of the Emperor Mission 5 to use the teleport to the city. These creatures are well known, high class lizards. They mainly do physical damage, so get physical protection on first place. As for dealing damage, Ice Element is the key to success, since they are weak to this one. When first time hunting here, you may find this place to be quite problematic because of the layout of the map and the tiny corridors. But trust me, it will get better every hunt. Same like with the soul eaters. So keep your finger on your energy ring if things get dangerous and by the way, you may also want to use the entrances to the houses as your advantage. Standing in the door will get only 3 monsters on you, so keep that in mind. Well, I haven't spent that much time here to tell you what's the best road. So I was just running through the alleys trying to get at least 5 to 6 lizards on me and without specifying the road I was still getting some nice experience. 1.5kk on 150% on my level. So if you get to know the map better I think you can achieve way more than me. Number 3. That place haunted me for a very long time. Lava Lurkers. I've been avoiding these monsters for so long, mainly because they don't drop a single item. Nothing. Zero. But after getting access to Glute Bandits, where I can profit nicely, I gave this place a shot 
and I was nicely surprised how much XP per hour I could get there. But first things first, to get there use the teleport towards an area in Kazordon and the stairs on the east will lead you to the hunting spot. The idea of hunting here is really simple, just drag the lava lurkers into the bigger rooms and spam avalanches along with ice damage spells. Sorcerers can use energy UE. The route I was following looked like that. As you may see there are some parcels dropped around. Lava lurkers don't push any objects, so make use of that and bring some parcels along with you, but there is a high chance there will be some already. The important thing to notice is that don't run on lava. Really, it hits for 500 HP every step. So if you must use your energy ring, cause it's so easy to get killed by it. Especially when you are a mage with low base health points. As for the gear, equip items that gives fire protection. Ideally magma set, magma amulet or cheaper dragon necklace. It's all up to you. I was getting some really nice XP here, 2kk on 200%, so on usual green stamina it would be 1.5kk per hour, so not bad, and if you got better gear and skills you can probably make even more. The next one, Edron Hero Cave. I have shown that spawn in the video where I featured hunting spots for level 130 mages. Link somewhere in the upper corner. But this time, we're going to go to the deepest floor, minus 3. Given how much space is there, I would compare the place to Death Portal, but with 2 times more creatures inside. It's somehow a hardcore to hunt here. Gear up with a physical mitigation items and for supplies bring avalanches. Around 600 to 700 for around 30 minute hunt. The most important thing is how to find yourself in those tiny corridors. Well, you just run and keep avoiding everything. A lot of diagonal moves. The road I taken looked like that. I visited all the rooms one by one. Those smaller ones could be a little tricky. So be ready to put your energy ring because it's so easy to get trapped. Another thing worth to mention is that inside those two rooms on the southwest you can go and stand between furnitures where only few monsters will attack you, especially the room on the left side. I was doing this every time I've entered this spot. If you are level 150 coming here, I would suggest not to lure that many monsters. Note that I was level 198, almost 200 while recording this, so try to adapt yourself to your level and to your skills. Don't copy it one to one, never. The average experience I was getting here was around 1.5kk per hour. So decent experience and if you get lucky you may even profit here. There are two liches which can drop Maxima Maximus and these, these are really expensive. Number 5, the last one in this compilation, something completely different from different dimension. Dark Fowls and Boggy Cave in Fairies. The requirements to get here are the same like with the Summer Winter Court. You need Threatened Dream Quest. This place was completely unknown to me and I can bet not many people know about this little cave. It's located on the right from the Emerald Teleport, the one that you need emeralds to TP here. But first things first, I'll start by saying that bring the Varen ring here to the fairies. All those little monsters will make you drunk like crazy. The cave has two floors, minus one and minus two. On level 150 and so on, I would suggest hunting on minus two. There are three monsters that we will find here. Dark Thorns, Boogies and Twisted Puka. Boogies are the hardest one. By hardest, I mean it has the highest number of HP. But compared to some other spawns, all mobs here die so quickly. Few JFBs and they are already red HP. So that's one of the advantages of this place. So yeah, for supplies bring great fireball runes, 
they're all weak to fire damage, expect those grey rabbits, but they die quickly anyway. Running here is kinda tricky, getting trapped at the beginning when you start hunting here is like a getting wet on the rainy day, you can't avoid it, but after you get to know the spawn better, you'll see how easy it is. For the road, try to drag the creatures from corridors up to the bigger rooms like on most of the spawns. I was stopping in those rooms marked with X on the map. Especially pay attention to those two corridors. There are quite many creatures there and this is where you could trap yourself. So if you see them in the bigger groups, not split it into one two maps, first kill them and then run. And the best part now, experience. I would say stable 1.1 kk per hour on 150%. And to my surprise, I even made a little profit here, so definitely worth to check this place. And we managed to get to the end of this compilation. From level 150, there are many doors that are opening for mages, so I'm also working on part 2. Keep your eyes open and don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot. And the question to you guys, would you like to see this type of compilations but for paladins? Let me know in the comments down below. Happy hunting and see you next time. Bye.